The discovery of the stopwatch might even explain a bizarre phenomenon. In life-threatening situations, people say that time slows down. So much that they could see every tiny detail. The question is, does time really slow down? Or is it just imagined? We're going to find out. Psychologist Dr. David Eagleman is about to conduct the first ever scientific experiment to explore whether time really does slow down in a near-death situation. In order to measure how fast people's brains are taking in information, we've built this device which we call the perceptual chronometer. And the idea is that numbers flash very rapidly on this LED screen. They flash so rapidly that a normal brain in normal circumstances can't see what's being flashed here. But if time were running in slow motion, then you should be able to distinguish the numbers. Jesse Callas has volunteered to be our guinea pig. Can you see that there are numbers flashing on the screen here? Yes. Okay, these are flashing at a slow rate. If okay. I speed this up, at some First, point, David has to make sure that Jesse can't read the numbers when time is running normally for him. That is very difficult to read what the numbers are. Yes, very difficult. Okay, and so are you able to read what's on the screen now? Um, yes. How about now? Uh, yes. Okay, and here, can you read the number at all? No, not at all. Okay. Let's do this number here. Yeah, great. Is that too tight? No, go ahead. Okay. There's no way to fake this test because if time is not running more slowly, they can't see the sequence. Nervous. Jesse is about to free fall from a height of 33 meters, 12 stories above the ground. The question is, Will he be able to read the number on the way down? Did you see any numbers on this way? Yeah, 56. 56, all right, let's verify this. Okay, the number that was actually presented was a five and a zero, 50. The zero happens to look a lot like a six. So what this means is that, at least mostly, he was able to see a presentation rate that he was not able to see under normal circumstances. Maybe what we can do is try again and see if, see if you get both the numbers right this time. Again? Again. <laughs> okay. I find this result fascinating. I would have loved it if he saw both numbers exactly correctly, but this at least suggests to me that he's able to take in information faster than he was before. That's what I saw. Yeah. 
answer is 98. Hey, that's great. So for a second time, Jesse has seen a number very similar to the one on the screen. Yeah. Yeah. These results today are very encouraging because this is the first evidence that somebody's brain can speed up and they can see the world more slowly during a high adrenaline situation. This is the first demonstration that time really can slow down. But how? Everybody knows that nothing puts a damper on the right moment like an interruption. The good news is it could wait till later. Because for guys like me with ED, there's Cialis. Cialis is the only erectile dysfunction tablet clinically 